Hey, what's up, guys? It's Cypher. Today, I'm going to show you how to get your first win in Chapter 5, Season 2. Now, I'm landing here because there's a guaranteed god chest that spawns over here, and it's pretty much uncontested since there's only one chest. So if you get the drop right, you're going to get this one chest right over here, and then we're immediately going to rotate. Uh, Fortnite added something brand new this season, and they're called Weapon Bunkers. And I'm going to show you exactly why they're extremely powerful and why you have to go for the Weapon Bunkers if you want to get super stack loot and pretty much be guaranteed uh, to win the game, you know, assuming you play well. So the God Chests have a chance to give you either the Thunderbolt of Zeus or the Wings. Uh, it's a guarantee that you get one or the other. You also get a decent shotgun or, or any epic rarity or legendary rarity weapon and you get some shields or a healing type. So it's literally the best chest to open in the game. Uh, I'm going to move down here immediately because there's one of these bunkers that spawn right over here. There's about uh, seven or actually there's, there's about eight of these bunker spawns around the map. And this is how you're going to pretty much put any attachments on your gun. The thing about them, though, is uh, they don't open in the first circle. These things open when, when the third circle forms, uh, these things open. And the good thing about these is you can actually box them in before you before they even open. You can fully box them. So this is pretty much me claiming my territory here. I'm going to go ahead and get some metal. Let's do a little bit of brick. And I'm just going to do a little two by two. Prioritize doing brick and metal. I'm going to box it in. So first circle is forming. I'm going to take this opportunity right now to pretty much finish looting in this area. Uh, I could I could have gone pretty much the other way, pushed up into here, and got some more loot. But the new areas are obviously extremely contested. So if you're landing in this biome or Grim Gate Underworld biome, uh, expect a ton of people. Where I dropped is pretty chill because there's one chest right now. Just prioritizing getting some mats. The bunker does, is not going to give you a ton of mats, so that's pretty much what we're going to go for here. Um, and you're probably wondering like, what's the tip for the Zeus Lightning Bolt? You definitely don't want to open up any fight with Zeus Lightning Bolt unless you're third partying from range because you can get shot pretty easily when using it. Um, and I'm pretty sure you get stuck in the animation when you use it. Let me see if I can just throw one Lightning Bolt. Yeah, so you're forced to throw all three Lightning Bolts. You cannot cancel that animation. Uh, maybe someone can figure it out a way. Maybe you can drop it out of your inventory, but I'm pretty sure Epic is covering all bases with that. Uh, the new SMG is pretty good, but I will say this right now. The Burst SMG is still the better SMG. However, the new SMG is better than the Hyper SMG that we had last season, which got vaulted. And the Mythic version of the SMG is actually pretty good. That's the one that Hades drops um, near the Underworld if you challenge him. So here we go. We got all the metal, all the mats that we need. We have that already pre-boxed, so people are less likely to go to that bunker. Um, first circle is closing, but like I said... It forms in the third circle, or as the third circle is about to close. There's a chance that this could end up in the storm. So if you really want to play this properly, you can see where the first circle forms and then go and pick a location. But I, I think I'll be lucky here. Now, let me show you how to use the close quarter gatekeeper shotgun. This thing is kind of like a tack pump hybrid. You got, you got, wait, this is five shots. Close quarter gatekeeper shotgun. Why is it five shots? Oh. Oh, it has an extended mag. Okay, so you can actually add an extended mag onto the shotgun. I think that's going to be meta for that because, you know, from three bullets to five bullets, that's a huge, huge, huge jump. And I actually really like the shotgun. I like the way it shoots. I like the damage it does. I like the fire rate. Uh, the Frenzy Auto Shotgun is still in the game. Still going to be very strong. But um, we're going to go here. It seems like this guy just killed uh, Zeus. He has the Zeus Medallion, which allows him to sprint fast. Um... And I definitely want to take that before this uh, the bunker starts to open. So I'm going to move in here. I hear him farming. Honestly, I could just chill right here, wait for him to jump out. You know what? Screw it. I have a, I have a kitted shotgun. I don't... I'm not sure where this guy went. I'm going to see if, if you're sh shooting somebody from far away. By the way, if you shoot somebody while they're flying... You do knock them down a, a bit. You see that? Three hits while they're flying with the wings, and they will crash down to the ground. They won't take fall damage, but they will crash down. I'm going to grab this big pot. There's these new uh, kind of like uh, work, not work, uh, job uh, benches. That one is for uh, just your regular bounty, but there's ones where you can call airdrops. There's ones where you can get a vehicle, uh, and there's one where you get uh, 
Okay, so here, this is perfect right here. There's a player, there's a player in the distance with with uh, a sniper. I do not want to use the Zeus Mythic while that player is uh, sniping. I'm gonna wait for him to fly. It looks like he's about to fly. I'm gonna wait for him to fly. Then I shoot him out of the sky, and then oh, this guy's flying actually. This guy's flying towards him. All right, this is perfect. The Zeus Mythic is perfect for third partying, and I'm about to show you exactly why. Here we go. All right, so that guy's dead. So that does electrocute you through the uh, builds, by the way. If you if you saw that, it electrocutes, electrocutes you through the builds. Hit him for 40. Gonna keep moving. If he tries to use the mythic, I'm just gonna zap him with the SMG. So you do not want to use the mythic while someone is running at you like that. Now we have the medallion, we have med kits, we have the wings. I'm gonna drop the mythic for the wings because I want the mobility. And I'm gonna show you, I have another medallion right here as well. So I'm gonna grab that. Now this guy has the Warforged assault rifle. So we're definitely gonna grab that. Bunker is opening. You can see second circle forms that bunker is opening. I'm just gonna go to the closer bunkers. It's, it's, it's uh, in a safer spot. And you definitely wanna rush there. It's gonna be a very popular spot, especially after this video goes live. So we're gonna rush here. It's gonna be opening here. I'm catching it right as it's opening. I'm gonna do a full, when you, when you land there's some momentum there. I'm gonna do a full metal box, full metal box and do that and really, really block this in. Now look what you get right here. Two big chests, legendary, guaranteed legendary chests. We're getting some heals as well. I'm gonna grab that. I will grab the sniper since I'm gonna put some attachments on it. You can just put a cone down here to get this gold. This is going to be a great way to farm gold for atta for attachments and upgrades. I uh, already have the mythic version of that. Let's grab the big pop. I'll just hold on to the big pop for now. And we're going to go and see what we could put on the gun. So for the shotgun, you want the drum. For, for this new uh, gatekeeper shotgun, you want the drum. Reduce time to ADS. Increase hip fire accuracy. Improve ADS recoil and spread. Reduce time to ADS. And then this one is increase movement speed while aiming. This is a very, the speed foregrip is very interesting, but it's not going to be useful for the shotgun. We're going to do increased hip fire accuracy. And then for the last one, reduce recoil. That's not important. For the sniper, it's still going to be pr pretty much the same stuff uh, that we put before. Quick uh, ADS, uh, whatever scope you want. There's a new thermal scope, although I'm not going to lie. I'm not a huge fan of it, but I'm still going to try to use it for now. Um, just to show it off a little bit more. Um, and when you're leaving this bunker, you do got to be careful. People can and will camp it. But since we have two metal boxes here, it's a little bit easier. Now, we could go to the other bunker if we want to, uh, just to get super, super, super stacked. We have it already fully uh, boxed in. It's over there, but that's like in storm. It's a little awkward, but honestly, I only have one big shield. And like, I want to show you guys like an easy way to win. Obviously, obviously, if I wanted to, I could just run around and kill people with this loadout. But I want to show people a way to win if you, you know, are struggling a little bit. You know, you're, you're having a tough time. You're... You want to make sure you get a lot of loot because I have all this already boxed in. Uh, I know that no one came in here. Look, it's all my builds. So this is going to be free for me to loot as well. There you go. More gold right there. Another med kit. I'll pop this. Grab the flowberry fizz. Now you might be wondering, are the new wings worth using? They are, but I think if I'm in a late game situation, I might want to just keep shockwaves or something quicker for mobility. But for just general movement around the map, like right now, wings is going to be the best option. But you could easily get shot out of the sky while you're flying, and you can easily get sniped and all that good stuff. So you want to use your rolls like this. You can spam this. It doesn't consume, uh, maybe it consumes a little bit more stamina, but you can spam it and really, really use it well. And if you want to, if you want to go down fast, you could do the slam, but you kind of get stuck in a little bit of an animation as you do the slam. So you got to be careful not to uh, use it while you're getting shot at. If you're getting shot at, just try to drop down normally without using the slam. All right, so we're missing. We're basically just missing health right now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go right over here. You can use you can use shift to boost or whatever if you're using controller. Just use the boost, um, and you can use the boost multiple times. By the way, you can keep spamming boost if you want to. Uh, it's just going to consume some some of your uh, flying uh, energy. Um, so let's look at the medallions real quick. We have Aspect of Combat. Uh, 
Prepare for war. Your ranged weapons increase increase damage on ranged weapons. And then this one is the aspect of speed. Vigor of Zeus. Faster run and faster jumps or higher jumps. Um, the jumps are a little bit less noticeable, I'm pretty sure, but the running is very, very noticeable. If you're like, if you go from not sprinting, you're, and you see how fast my sprint just recharged? It's a very, very fast sprint. So you got to use that to your advantage. See a player in the distance. Gonna go ahead and try to use the sniper here for a quick, quick knock. By the way, when you're using your wings to fly around, people can see you in the audio feed very easily. The visual audio will show the wings. So you got to be careful and you got to use them a, a little bit more sneaky. All right. All right, so this shotgun, obviously that guy was a bot, but this shotgun feels really good to use. Honestly, uh, probably going to be my favorite shotgun this season because I'm not a fan of the Frenzy, even though it's still very strong. So there's one more medallion. There's a medallion for Siphon, and there is another medallion. But something about this season is to get the medallions, you actually have to talk and challenge the bosses. You have to like, you have to accept a, basically like a quest or a mini event to fight and kill the bosses. There's going to be a lot of games where people do not have the medallions because people will not go through all that work. This is the thermal, by the way. As you can see, it's a little bit more awkward uh, than, than old thermal sights. I'm not honestly a huge fan of it. And I am running out of wings right here. I'm running out of flight. I want to see what happens when I run out of flight because I don't think I've had, had that happen. I think when I run out... What happens? Can I just keep flying until I drop? Yeah, the headshot is pretty satisfying. And it looks like the jump, by the way, is a super jump when you have like full sprint. So if I wait and I do a jump, if I sprint jump, like I'm trying to recreate that jump. I don't I don't know how I did that, but I managed to have like a pretty sick jump. All right, so now I don't have ability and I don't have any more wings. Usually I'll kill players and just refresh off their wings, but we're just gonna keep moving. So we got a few more players. I do want to play a little bit more aggressive now. At this point, like, look at the loot. Super stacked. We got a couple medallions. We got everything we need. We know how to use the Zeus, Zeus Mythic. I'm going to go to the island. I'm going to go to the island and, and get aggressive with the whoever's up there. So we're going to fly, rift up into the sky. Don't get sniped. Don't get sniped. Don't get sniped. He's throwing lightning bolts, it seems. Or no, he's not. I just, that's just the audio that I made. So he has the, the, the mythic that shoots him up into the air. He has he has the uh, the Hades mythic. Uh, he hit me pretty hard. I'm gonna pop this. And quick edit right there. As you can see, this shotgun is fast. We're going to grab this extra medallion. We're going to grab the Hades SMG. Pop the big. Now I'm going to fry him with this SMG. I want to show you how strong this SMG is. We use the AR in this situation. One, 200 right there. So the, I use the AR. You see how the AR was very, very like, very like no recoil at all. This thing just shoots straight. I'm not even using any recoil control. It just shoots completely straight. We also have the Cerberus Gatekeeper Shotgun. This is the mythic version. What I don't like, though, is that it doesn't have the five bullets. It only has three, which means we're going to have to reload a lot more to make that to make that work. I'm not a fan of that. I'm going to I'm going to see really quickly, though, while I'm here, if I'm able to put an attachment on the mythic. I know we weren't able to last season, but you never know. Maybe they changed it this season. Yeah, you're not able to put attachments on the mythic. So. Uh, this, it's kind of an L for the server shotgun to not have the five bullets and it only has the three. I'm not going to lie. That's, that's kind of an L. Um, but we're, we're going to rock with it for now. The SMG, by the way, also has virtually no recoil. The fire rate of this thing, 9.5 fire rate. That's actually not a very high fire rate for an SMG. The stats on it aren't that impressive, but it's not a bad gun at all. It's not a bad gun at all. Um, but for the sake of this game, I'm going to grab the shockwaves. I'm going to give up at this point. I'm going to give up the... Uh, on the wings and i'm just going to use the shockwaves i have siphon and i also have the aspect of agility now i have these three skulls right what, what these three skulls are going to do for me is as soon as i uh if i want to jump i can actually use the skulls to dash and the cool thing is you can get that effect from the water and when you go into the water you get three skulls and you can hold on to them for the entire match but when you have this medallion 
you you actually the skulls recharge over time you know so you permanently have them but now i have siphon i want to show you a quick tip for siphon you don't just have to kill players to get siphon i see a player over there uh i'm gonna look for a chicken or something like an npc you can kill pretty much anything and get siphon it doesn't have to be a player so i'm gonna go over here i think i'm getting sniped at i'm just gonna go ahead and build so there's an npc here to kill but like if there are if there are chickens or things like that you can literally just kill the chickens all right so we got one more player left he's all the way off in the distance I'm trying to see if there's any like any npc that can kill for a quick like uh, siphon heal but it doesn't look like i'm gonna find it Doesn't look like a real player, so I'm gonna show you real quick. You can combo the shockwave with the dash. Dash again, dash again. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this video helps you get your first win in chapter five, season two. And go check out Rocket Wars because I just added all of the new weapons and the mythics on my map. You can practice with them and perfect them right now on my map, Rocket Wars. The code is right here or search Rocket Wars in Fortnite Creative.